I wonder if Boogie Boogie's in that room. I mean, it could possibly be, seeing that there's faces on there. But whatever. Oogie Boogie, give me back the heart. You want it? Well then, come on over and get it! <laughs> now, let's see if I can get their attention. Oh, hello! Who's he talking to? Disrespecting? Were we disrespecting him? Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, there. What's up with that one text dialogue from Jack? He gets one lot little line of text dialogue you have to read, and they just jump into an actual talking cutscene. Like what? Did the run out of money to get the voice actor? I wonder if they get paid for how many lines they say, like actually say. Kind of weird. I know they do it a lot in the game, but even here, it was just one line, and then they start talking. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, this fight. Ah, it's obnoxious. Because... It's more like you can't just run up and beat the crap out of him. You gotta do this little dumb... I don't know, how you call it? Roulette thing? He just kind of rolls the dice, something happens. And what you're supposed to do is trap him in between those gates, like I missed it the first time. Ouch. That was annoying. And he runs around like a fat sack of... Well, bugs, basically. Oh, I actually caught him. Because I honestly couldn't see where he was. Aw, oh, crap. They do that thing where they turn invincible for some weird reason. Oh, yeah. Those dice and random stuff happens. Two parlors appear, which is... I guess really not a big deal. They're probably just there for something you can hit to, you know, store up on magic or whatever. Refill your magic. Well, that makes it easier to track him. Uh, I actually unintentionally caught him. Come on, get up there. Oh, come on. Like, I almost had him. I almost had him. Might as well show off this one. You can see Tinkerbell will kind of, like, periodically heal you throughout the fight. Or any battle you're in when you summon her. And also, if you die, she'll revive you, but just like one time. Did he say heal something me? I heard the word heal. Is he gonna heal? Yeah, that's not obnoxious at all. I hate enemies that can heal themselves. I know it didn't seem fair, you can heal yourself. But then again, who said the world was fair? Oh, I got lucky there that he stopped. Ow. I'm actually surprised he actually kind of hits you somewhat.
you're supposed to step on him? So that heart was a failure after all. Okay. Whatever. She kind of said something. Yeah, you probably should have stepped on that bug and killed it. Then we wouldn't have to do this. And why did he turn into a house? Whoa, why did he get so big? Look, it's brimming with the power of darkness. Oogie Boogie is drawing power from those dark globes. So he just has to destroy those things, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. These giant pimple things. And that's pretty much the whole boss fight. For some reason, they just had to throw this in. And why would he turn into a house? He can't really move anywhere. He can move his arms slightly, but that's about it. I mean, we could just keep walking away and be done with it. The only thing annoying is those little fireballs, and then like random Heartless will show up, but that's about it. Actually, I don't know how many of these things there are. I would say... How many have I destroyed? Two? I'm gonna say five or six. Definitely less than ten, I know that. That's the one reason I want to glide before coming here. Just to make it somewhat easier to, you know, traverse around. Okay, that was like, what, three? Wait, there's one. on that one. Uh, of course it turns into vapor right when I attack it. Ouch. I think that was number four. So maybe one more left, maybe. Alright, I've got this stupid heartless following me. Oh good, there it is. I knew I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I guess I was like five. Fly away! That's cool. I guess he just shoots the moon. I just had a Dragon Ball Z moment. Just think, what if he accidentally blew up the moon like Piccolo did? Although, with Piccolo, it wasn't an accident, that was deliberate. Sally, why didn't I listen to you? 
Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. Next time, we'll do it together. No, you won't. I know what happens in the second game. Something good, right? I think like random keyblades she will let me have. Are there these spare keyblades lying all over the place? I don't know. Well, don't you technically have a heart? Well, I mean, you have a giant brain. But then again, this is Halloween Town, so... There's nothing really makes that much sense. Hmm, 2 AP, so... What can I equip on him? Actually, that could be useful. Since they do get beat up a lot. Oh, I've got another item slot thing showing up. No, actually that one is weaker. Hmm. Or if you're meant to go to Halloween Town first. Well, this one is AP. I don't raise my magic power. Hmm. Looks like I can finally equip guard. I'm waiting for that one. Ours Arcanum, yeah. I don't use those. Strike rate. Berserk. Eh, I don't like being in critical anyway. So once I'm in critical, I generally try to get out of it. Plus, there's that annoying beeping sound anyway. Oh, wow, Goofy has no items. Might as well put them on him. At least these potions, anyhow. Because after a while, potions kind of become redundant. But they, yeah, it never hurts. It never hurts. Alright, I have no weapons for Donald. I don't think I've bought any weapons for them. I really like bought one. Hmm. I know it's not the ones I started out with, I'm pretty sure. I'm guessing. Hmm. <laughs> Why is this two entryway? Two entryway. Why is it that when I walk out of the lab, I can't straight be straight like into Guillotine Square? That little space in between is like kind of pointless. I mean, there's nothing there. No, that's a graveyard. What's here? The that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh. Did that do anything? I guess not. I remember we already got, the, already got the treasure chest from here. Can't go in that place. Nope, don't want to go there. I guess the Heartless have left this spot for the moment. But I bet if I come back to this world, they'll be right here. I 
I'm looking for a... What do you call it? Um, oh, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. Now to get up there somehow. Here we go. Power up. Not what I was looking for, but that's useful. Yeah, I guess it's got to be over there. Yep, there it is. And thankfully I landed in there. Elixir. And... Dimension is 70. 71 and 72. I'll use this power up before I forget. <clears throat> uh, I'll come back here later and figure out how to open that other, uh, what do you call it? That box or whatever that was shaped like a tree I couldn't get into. Halloween Town's quite what we on, so we're gonna shake it up, uh, whatever he said. I'm not doing anything bad, not now anyway, I'm keeping an eye on Lock and Barrel. Actually, I don't like pulling, pulling pranks, but I don't want to be left out either. Mm. Better keep an eye on those rascals, they may pull a prank on you the second you look away. Well, I don't live here, so it doesn't really matter to me. I just wanna leave. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. Again. How do you know this? You, like, read the newspaper? Uh, I hear there's a great winner, uh, great reward for the winner. Actually, it is. It's actually... It's actually something useful if you want to... You know, get all the trinities. And plus, you actually get two Keyblades out of it. Okay, next time we're going to take on the whatever tournament this is.